March 27th, Saturday. Figure I'd do a little tune up on my 2002 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, I might as well report it, I guess. So, yeah, let's go get this going. So, when I do service, I do like to write down the mileage, what I'm doing, what I'm changing, write that all down. And change the air filter, spark plugs, got your Toyota um, oil filter, some NJK wires, this type of oil I use. Uh, I don't need to change the coil packs here, so I'm not gonna do that. This is the tools I'll be using. Got the 5.8 for the spark plug. I got that little rubber grommet in there, I guess. 10 millimeter. You know, I like them husky tools. They're pretty good. Little crescent wrench because I don't have a long socket 10 mil to take this one off. So we need 10 mil for this, this, and this. Pull this off so I can get to the, the plugs under here. And then here's the air filter. Pull these down, lift this up, pull these tabs, boom, got access. Pull it out, it's dirty. Been a while since I changed this. Now make sure there ain't nothing in here. Leaves, debris. The new one. Go ahead and slide this in. Just like that. Good to go. Don't mind this engine bay, it's super dusty right now. Need to detail this whole vehicle. This whole vehicle is dirty. So let's get to the next. So let's start to loosening up these bolts. So we'll pull all these off. So here, pull this off. 
slide this off take it off of here and here take this thing out so this can pull away so now we have access on this side of the motor you have access to the coil packs yep use a 10 millimeter loosen these up and you pull this out and you have access to the spark plugs so let's go ahead and do that so you take the boat out push this tab in you can pull this off pull it out you lift this part up it's hard to do this with one hand and this top part comes off but anyway let me get it it's hard to do with one hand so there you pull it off see your coil pack and now you have access to your spark plug so we're going to repeat the process with this this on this side so i got my five eighths spark plug socket with an extension and a longer extension with this other ratchet because this one is smaller and i don't have the adapter size for that Actually, I haven't changed these plugs since I got this damn Forerunner. Only fluids, but it is a Toyota. You now this should be lasting. So I did show y'all that I got these. What I showed you the wrong plugs because these aren't the ones this is what they told me to get but I needed these because you know I like to keep it close as OEM as possible that's why I got the I always replace it with Toyota oil filter try to do everything Toyota I got these, the one, the Denzel K16 TR11, and that's what these are, Denzel K16 TR11, so yeah. So let's put these new ones in. I'm gonna do it for all of these. And then we can go to the other side. So I got all the spark plugs changed. I'll go ahead and replace these coil packs maybe next month. Should have done it, but don't really need to. I didn't clip these on yet all the way because i need to change the wires so i know where they go like i do know where they go but you know it's good to do it like this you do one one wire at a time so we're gonna go on the other side and do the spark plug i'm gonna do them on this side now here here and there's another one right there. It's kind of easy to get to. Not too easy, but with a long extension, 
you can fit it right down in this hole and you can reach it so let's get it going so I pulled out this first one right here I'm gonna pull that out I'm gonna take all the wire to this one this middle this middle one and this middle one runs to that one so we got the wires right here so yeah you can see where they're gonna run obviously So I'll change the spark plug and wire and then do the middle one, change the spark plug and then put the wire on the new one and the last one I'll do the same and I'll show you how I get to the last one where you don't need to take all this stuff off, just get a long extension and put it in here. So I did the, this one, this one, and now this last one, you just reach here, you know, you pulled it out, you pulled it out, this thing, it's easy, you got your extension, I added another one right here, so it's super long now. You just come in the back here, and it slides right in. You see, you don't gotta unbolt none of this or move all this shit. Right there. So I'll do the last one and then do the last wire. Or this one. And then I'll drain my oil and change my oil, which I should have been draining it while I was doing this, but it's all right. Ain't in a rush for anything. And then we got some, Marsha flew it also to top it off. So let's get this done. I got it all put back together. Wires, spark plugs. No time for the oil. But first, let's go ahead and put some um, washer fluid. I do need to go and recycle all these used oil also. Perfect. Perfect. So we're underneath. There's the oil plug to bring out the half inch drive ratchet. Got that husky, that small little extension, connected to a 14 mil. Unbolt that, 
and let it drain. Been a while, probably like 6,000 miles since the last oil change. I'm gonna let this drain and then we'll go take off the oil filter. So it's pretty much done draining, just dripping. And the oil filter is right up in here. You stick your hand through here. And you can just grab it right there, it's right here from underneath. So we are gonna get that out and we can put in the new one and then fill up the oil and then we should be done. Use that kind of oil. Let's see. It's the old one. New one. I'm gonna rub some oil on this ring, all in here. And I'm gonna put this up in there. And then. Fill her up. You know how we go. Just like that. Pour some of that in there. Put about one of these and then a quarter or half of a small one like this. One of these, half of these. And it should be good to go. All right, everything is done. Everything looking good. All these are all tight. All the wires on. Oil's filled. Everything's good. I'm gonna start it and run it for a little bit. Check the oil level and then take it for a spin. Maybe a wash and we're all done. Well, thanks for watching.